I am actually a full-time teacher um, and I work paperless for many years already. I only use Moodle and um, also as a teacher I give workshops for other teachers in my community to also mostly use Moodle. Um, I'm from Bavaria, Germany and in Germany we have one Moodle instance and it has 200,000 teachers and 1.5 million students. So we are a rather big Moodle instance. And all this is run also by four teachers and one it's called Fachinformatiker in German. It's like an IT specialist. <sighs> And plus we have groups of teachers um, and they write tutorials about everything on Moodle for activities or they make back best practice example and things like that. And here they send you a pictures to greet you <laughs> from Germany. Um, but um, with us all giving workshops, the feedback we often get from the teachers is um, Moodle is hard for them and it takes a lot of time to make a good structured and motivated and beautiful course. And um, this is where my plugin come from. So do you want your course to be more motivating, intuitive, structured, learning enhancing, instantly accessible, beautiful and quick to build, then meet Horst and his friends. Um, they're all SVG pictures drawn for um, very little loading time in the thing. And the pictures, they're all called Dunyarama. And they are delivered in your Moodle through um, a tiny MCE plugin and it's called C4L. And it's made from Mark Katala and Roger Segu. And me, I'm lucky because I have the four teachers I told you before that run our Moodle instance. They also like rewrite the plugins a little or make new ones. And back there is one like Stefan Hanauska, perhaps you know him. And um, they write things for me. And so this is very lucky. And now I show you how it works. Um, we're making a course about a trip to Paris where students will introduce themselves in French, describe what they eat for breakfast, read a French text and create audio and give each other peer feedback. So this is a normal course, how it looks, basic, simple and functional. And now with the Dunyarama, it can look like this. And I show you. Here is the course, the Moodle course with the, oops, I. So you see um, the, the idea was that we structure the things with HTML and CSS boxes that are delivered easy and that give instantly um, a coherent look for the Moodle course. Or also like this, this is the Horst already again. And, um, or for English course, English with Maggie and John. And everything is always in, um, us as teachers, this was important, like, you know, good cop, bad cop, angel, devil. And so here also you have the moderation, like one, Dumb one asks the questions, one answers the questions, so you have course moderation easy. Um, yeah. And now I show you in a clip how it works. You open the plugin, and then you have the categories, and you can choose different things, and with the picker, like here's the French one, you have the uh, Forschau preview it's called, and then you have the HTML box just in there and you put your own text in this box and then you submit and done. It actually takes only five clicks and ready. And um, here I show you, um, you have now the title 
and now this is, we call it the variant. You always have one avatar on the left and then the variant, the other partner that has a conversation on the right side. And also with five clicks, he's in there and you can um, change the text, make it bold, formatting, everything works, just everything that Tiny does. And um, nobody can break it. But because before as teachers, um, we always had like CSS blocks, like in the blocks we made CSS and then when you wrote the diff a little wrong and the whole course was gone and everything was broken, but with this it can never happen, everything just works. And um, the main boxes we have right now are tips, scenarios, question, don't do feedback and task, and they're all color coordinated. So this means it doesn't matter what picture is on there. Um, the, every student knows yellow is always a tip and um, red is always a problem. So it's very easy for them to, to have a structure in there. And um, what designs? You know, the existing designs. And I deleted that. But I show you later. And but to give the full experience, and because I have the four teachers that host this huge Moodle, and if they find a little time, I told them, Naya, it's a little sad. Only if we have the boxes, we need some pictures with it too. So they wrote another plug in, like the Stefan back there, and it's called the Image Hub. And it goes right into the uh, Moodle repository and you can upload pictures and all these pictures also fit to the avatar pictures. And also with the same color, because for me it's important that a course looks coherent. I hate when they all have different colors and with this, like no teacher can really go wrong with the color scheme there. Um, sorry, but even like most men, they, they just <laughs> think like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's awful to give them a color picker. <laughs> Not all, but most. <laughs> um, and so this, it always works out and it always looks nice at the end. And then you have like for the whole um, thing, you have like a color thing, you have the, um, Perhaps here, if you ever have the vegetables, I could draw avatar like a farmer and his wife, or I have with the sea animals, we have like pictures with sea things, and then we have a fisher and a mermaid, something like that. And yeah, this comes to you from me, Dunya Rama, and from the team of the MEBIS learning platform from Bavaria, the huge one. So yeah, and here you see this is like my avatar. Um, this is for my courses and I work in a school and it's called Krötensee Schule and this means little frog school. And so for my courses, I always have me on the left, the avatar, and on the right is the little frog where I, and now I would gladly, I, I was good in time or yeah. I would gladly answer any questions. And if you have any hard questions, you can ask later on during the day, Stefan. Like. <laughs> Hi, and congratulations for your ex explanation and everything related about, okay, man, all right, good. <laughs> Get it. Uh, my question was, uh, is, right, um, you install, it's like a plugin, right? You, yeah. Do, do you install it into the Moodle? Yeah. Yeah, but you install it or just you ask the administrators to install it? I have no right whatsoever. I'm just a teacher and the four people, it's, it's nice because everything runs and you open it and it's there, but I have nothing to do, but, but I know them now and then, I, and then they work a little with me. All right, so, and that kind of plugin, it's just for free or? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, it, 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 we're teachers, we're not. Uh, All right, good, thank you so much. Or Stefan, yeah. Right. Thank you so, <laughs> so much. So we could say now the interest is high, we could like say, yeah, no, because, but because everything, everything is free and the pictures too. We believe in free education, we believe in no copyright and Yeah, open because source. I saw when you just develop the activity, when you just create the activity, you just automatically just click on the icon and you just have the pictures. 
Uh, yeah, and you can have it everywhere, not only in the um, text. You, every activity that has the editor, you can add that. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, wonderful, beautiful. I have primary education myself. I'm an instructional designer. Are they compliant for WCAG 2? All of those, and maybe that's for him, but all of the boxes, because we have teachers that would try and do that and they put the, it in a table boxes, and that's not accessible. The boxes like, I made, I don't know, but it's just HTML and CSS. It's just code and the C4L delivers it in it. I don't. So you're not sure? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Stefan? We don't know. But you can have the code, he don't know. <laughs> Hi, great presentation, thank you so much. Um, I, my question is um, about how modifiable the images are. So we're an indigenous organization out of Canada and we're wondering about... Very, um, this is just now my images in our Moodle because nobody else draws things in, in Bavaria, but we made the plugin very um, manageable for everything where it's very easy. We have a back site where you can just put the pictures in and then the CSS code and the CSS classes you just click together. So it's a little bit dummy proof even. Um, yeah, it's, it's very nice and manageable. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. So that there was a big thing for us and for the team when we um, enhanced the plug in that it's easy for everybody to have their own images and texts in there. Yeah? What is the, um, the course display that you were showing at the beginning? Is it just topics? There was just topics, yeah. Topics, okay, great, thank you. <laughs> 